Hey guys, so I'm going to paint a 10 by 10 inch cityscape and uh, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to do this and so I'm going to have to be really organized in how I approach it. So basically I'm going to break down the image into uh, big shapes and then go in and refine those shapes. Um, so let's just get started. This is a mixture of ultramarine and I've got a little bit of uh, uh, burnt sienna in there which makes kind of a black color. Okay, so I'm just going for big shapes here. Oh, there's the road. The whole idea here is to work really fast and um, not overthink things. I'm trying to just break this thing down to simple shapes in there and then just scrub them in. And it may, it may look really messy at first, but hopefully it'll all work out. trees kind of comes more or less like this all right and I'm gonna start indicating where the buildings are and I'm looking for the dark the darkest spaces within here there's one here like this okay and then over here there's like a kind of a roof And there's a few little, and it doesn't even really matter what color. I'm, I'm working so quickly that I'm not, this is how I go when I'm out plein air painting too. I'm just making very rapid decisions about the colors and everything. Now there's some areas in here in the blue that are, uh, let's see, there's these areas of green. Let's see if I can suggest those. They're dark though, these areas of green. Uh, some of these sort of drab green buildings. So we're adding variety into these shapes. Okay, this kind of comes over here, but I'm I'm just making very quick suggestive strokes. I'm not I'm not going to really like I said I'm not getting bogged down in any kind of detail. Just looking for shapes within within these shapes that I specified. Okay, a kind of a roof line there. Okay, I'm going to use a straight edge here because sometimes I'll do that. I'll just use a straight edge to kind of define the bottom of this. And right here. I, using a straight edge can be handy, but I just don't want to use it too much because uh, it, it can make your painting look sort of... Uh, manufactured if you know what I mean and I'll probably leave some you see how there's that burnt sienna popping through I'm gonna leave some of that I, I like that that sort of warm color that suggests light and I'm not worried that I'm getting a little bit of you know I'm getting some some of the uh, purple color is actually showing up in my as I drag this along. Oh, there's a happy accident. There's some yellow in there. I'll just suggest some of these little, I don't even know what they are, little towers out here. Okay, that's it. I don't want to get too bogged down in detail, but I will add a little bit. A little bit of detail goes a long way. All right. There's a dark line along the bottom. So, If 
Okay, that's a little bit of a reflection of the island there. Okay, and there's also like a little bit of a more defined line back here. Up to you how far you want to take this. Uh, I'm going to get back and look at it. I don't want to add too much detail in here, like I've said. Now, what you could do with this straight edge is you could come in and add a few, uh, you know, controlled lines uh, that'll straighten this thing up and make it a little more geometric. But I don't want it to be, again, I don't want to lose the spontaneous feel. So I don't want to overwork it with this, rule, this uh, straight edge. Now, if I wanted to come in with a super small brush, which I usually don't, but I'm going to show you guys. Let's suggest some uh, cars on the street. There's some cars over here. And so we're just going to, there's a lot of highlights on the cars. That's all you really see. It's like a black mass, but then there's black mass. That sounds horrible. Sounds like a, sounds like a Black Sabbath song. Maybe it is. I don't know. I didn't listen to Black Sabbath. All you youngsters might know Ozzy Osbourne. Maybe not. I don't know. Before he was a per TV personality, he was a, he was kind of an edgy rock and roller. All right. So anyway, <laughs> all the information you didn't want. Okay. So there's a, uh, no, that didn't work. There's a suggestion of cars there. We're not going to get into too much detail here because obviously we're just trying to do a, a suggestive painting. Uh, okay, and you may want to put, I'm going to leave it here, I think. Yeah, there's actually some light. I don't know, let's see if that'll work. There's some lights in the background, but I don't want to light down the street because it's starting to get dark. And so there's little areas, little pops of like, of red uh, from lights that are starting to come on in the street. Again, I don't want anything that's too, I don't want any detail that's going to break up the overall design. Okay, so here's a closer look at the finished product. All right, so that took about 25 minutes. Uh, but that shows you how I approach a complicated subject like a cityscape. Again, um, just focusing on large shapes and then going in and refining those large shapes. Um, so anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you feel like you got something out of it and you want to make a contribution, you can hit the Patreon link in the description. Other than that, uh, as usual, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you in the next video.